Snuffle mats are a great enrichment activity for your dog. They provide mental stimulation, they can slow down fast eaters, and they keep your pup entertained. The best part about my version is it comes in at under $6. Hi, I'm Tori Mystic from the dog blog WearWagRepeat.com. I am obsessed with finding new canine enrichment activities for my two senior Labradors, Bert and Lucy. I just made them a brand new snuffle mat to replace the one that I made three years ago. If you have less than $10 and a few hours of time, you can make this too. Here's the supplies you'll need. A plastic sink mat from the Dollar Tree, some fleece fabric from Joann's, scissors, maybe a rotary cutter or a ruler if you have it. For this large snuffle mat, I used two of the plastic sink mats and about one yard of fleece fabric. If you wanna make the smaller version, you'll only need one sink mat and about half a yard of fleece fabric. Step one, get your supplies. These sink mats are $1.25 a piece and I got this fabric on clearance at Joanne for $2.97 a yard. Step two is to cut out your fleece strips. Lay your fleece down on a flat surface and use the scissors or your rotary cutter to cut strips that are about one to two inches wide and around six to eight inches long. Don't worry about being too precise. If your strips are slightly different lengths and widths, it will actually make the snuffle mat more fun for your pup. Step three is optional. If you wanna make the bigger snuffle mat, if you have a big dog like I do, you'll wanna connect two of the sink mats together. To do that, I used plastic zip ties and I cut the excess back. Then I double knotted a fleece strip around each one so that the pointy part isn't exposed. With our mats prepped and our strips cut, it's time to start making your snuffle mat. All you do is take one strip, put a hole, put a, a side through one hole and one side through the other hole and tie a knot. Then go down to the next one. We're not gonna skip any spaces. Just fill it in right there and once again, tie a knot. Keep repeating this until you have filled up all the rows and keep going all the way down the mat. When you're done, the back should look something like this. So you can see I filled in every single row and there's not an empty space. Now step five is to flip it over and give your mat a little fluff so that there's lots of good spaces to put the dog treats in. That's the next step. If your dog has never done this before, put a few tasty dry treats right on top of the mat. If your dog is more experienced, you can hide the treats among the strips. I like to feed my dogs their dinner in the snuffle mat at least once a week. I just pour a whole cup of their regular kibble on the snuffle mat and I swish it all around to hide it in the strips. It gives them a really fun activity. Rather than just scarfing down their food in their bowl, they actually get to sniff around and search for it like they're foraging. Always make sure that you supervise your dog when they're doing a snuffle mat or really any activity. If they happen to rip off one of the strips, which my dogs do, <laughs> I just collect it and then I tie it back on to another space when they're done. I hope you enjoyed seeing how to make this affordable and engaging DIY snuffle mat. Coming in at under $10, it packs a punch by giving your dog a fun mental stimulation activity, slowing down their eating and encouraging them to sniff which comes with all kinds of its own benefits. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your other pet parent friends. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss any future canine enrichment or adventure videos that I share.